we are telling the story of someone who is larger than life. I didn't want to just recreate verbatim what happened or the, or the clothes that were there. I was pushed to go, let's take it up several notches. Let's make it a spectacle on top of a spectacle, if you like. When the songs start, we want to be taken somewhere else. Alton gave me that permission. You know, Dexter gave me that permission. You can just explore and try and propel things along. And, and the film is unique in that way for the, this sort of biopic genre. It's like, you know, how do the songs blossom and how do they grow and how do they show Elton's life? Elton is a London boy. Uh, and we try to get as many sort of cultural references and musical references as we can into that so we see Elton tied to this, this amazing city. Elton came down to, to look at all the designs and look, I got his okay from the outset. Once you've got that, I knew that it was all going okay. Terence's performance is very moving. And when you consider the amount of work that went into that from him. All of the choreography, actually knowing every every hit on the piano, being suspended on wires, <laughs> every element of that is just just incredible. Elton and Taryn have this, this great friendship. And I think that means that it kind of allows him to be the most extreme version of Elton. He doesn't have to sort of tend foot his way around it because it comes from a place of love and 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 understanding. He just threw himself into this role and embraced it and, and you know, threw himself out of the, the aircraft without a parachute, just hoping that he would land safely and, he, and he, it was glorious. I think that's what, that's what Taron did. <laughs>